Howdy there once again YouTube. My name is Ben Freyolo and I am back once again. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell if you like my videos. And if you're interested in earthquakes and volcanoes, or interested in learning how to download seismic data and how to analyze it, and many other things, including earthquake statistics, please visit my website. I got a lot of different stuff on here, so go check that out. I even have a seismic image archive of all web recorders for Long Valley, Lassen Peak, Newberry, and Mount Rainier. All right, so we're going to go to the Seismo blog real quick to look at the new post about the large deep earthquake near Fiji that happened today. It was a magnitude 7.8, 101 kilometers east-southeast of Suva, Fiji on September 6, 2018 at 1549 UTC at 608.6 kilometers in depth. Woohoo! That's pretty deep, guys. And here is the Fiji earthquake. From a long ways away from California near Long Valley Caldera. This is from MCV. All right. The image directly above is of the recent 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck Fiji at 608 kilometers depth on September 6, 2018 at 1549 UTC. Spectrogram and seismogram taken from station MCV within Long Valley Caldera. So what is going on? Isn't it weird how once the Kilauea eruptions calmed, there was a good-sized spike in 6.0s, 7.0s, and even 8.0s? Also, a lot of the earthquakes recently of larger magnitudes have occurred, occurred very deep, around 500, 600 kilometers in depth. What is going on? I understand this happens from time to time, but why the large spike in 7.0s and 8.0s at such a deep depth? Has something changed beneath our feet, and how much longer will this deep focus sequence last? And I'm going to quick read more to expand the post to read more. And here's the Fiji earthquake again, but this time from MCID EHG WY01, which is Moose Creek, Idaho. The seismogram and spectrogram above shows the 7.8 in Fiji, but this time from station MCID, which resides within the WY network on the southwestern tip of Yellowstone National Park. Now, deep focus earthquakes, earthquakes that usually occur around 400 kilometers deep and deeper, are not that rare. However, what is rare is large magnitude earthquakes, 7.0 and above, occurring 500 kilometers in depth or deeper. They do occur, though, with around 30 or so 7.0 earthquakes and above occurring at that depth since around 1900. So what is even more rare is a magnitude 8.0 occurring around 500 to 600 kilometers in depth. Now, you can see this in the two images directly below, right here. You can see I'm on the earthquake catalog. Got magnitude 8 is the minimum, so magnitude 8.0 and above since 1899, and a minimum depth of 500 kilometers, so that'd be 500 kilometers or deeper. Only four earthquakes were shown since 1899. So the first of the two images directly above is the settings that I input into the earthquake catalog. The second image is the result from the search. From the year 1899 to today, there have only been four earthquakes, magnitude 8.0 and above, that have occurred 500 kilometers deep or deeper. One in 1970, one in 1994, one in 2013, and one in 2018. You can see they are rare. Of course, 7.0s are also increasing as well. How come seismic activity around the globe was somewhat calm during the Kilauea eruptions? Excuse me. Isn't that weird? All right, this one I do have the earthquake catalog for magnitude 6.0 and above at 540 kilometers in depth or deeper for the past two months. All right, and here's the results. Five. Five earthquakes. The above two images show in the past two months from July 6 to September 6, 2018, there have only been five earthquakes, magnitude 6.0 and above, that have occurred at 540 kilometers in depth or deeper in the world. Now, there have been a few other 7.0s since the Kilauea eruption stopped and many, many, many 6.0s. However, they were not considered deep earthquakes. I am Right now, I'm only focused on the deep focus events. So how come some earthquakes seem to be increasing in quantity, depth, and magnitude, including a magnitude 8.2 and a magnitude 7.8 in the same location within just about a month at virtually the same depth? That is some pretty hardcore activity. I feel bad for those who live on those islands near this area. Things really must be shaking, so please keep them in your prayers and hope this activity calms down. Now... The last two images, which are directly above, it shows the catalog right here, just showing the settings I put in, and here's the results right down here. 
The last two images directly above shows all magnitudes for the Fiji area. In the past two months, from July 6th to September 6th, 2018, there have been 36 earthquakes, magnitude 0 and above, so it's all earthquakes. There have been 36 earthquakes, all magnitudes, that have occurred at 600 kilometers in depth or deeper. That's a lot of deep earthquake activity, guys. And this is just at Fiji. This is just this little tiny area. There's other deeper events occurring all over the planet right now. So let's hope it calms down. These deep focus sequences seem to remind me of the deep earthquake activity that we saw in the months leading up to the Kilauea eruptions all around the globe. Once the eruption started, seismic activity somewhat calmed globally during the entire eruption. Barely a 6.0 here and there. However, magnitude 5s were still occurring near a normal rate, though slightly diminished, but it was virtually calm. Now, once the Kilauea eruptions calmed, BOOM! Many, many 6.0s and 7.0s and even an 8.2! I don't know where this is heading, but it's a very cool time to be alive if you're interested in earthquakes. If you require any data or web recorded images, please go to contact. Thank you, and God bless. And real quick, I just want to look at one more web recorder real quick. So let's go to the time series seismic data download builder thingy-bob. So I'm just going to get the seismic signature from, let's say, <clears throat> let's do YMC just real quick. I got the time period set for that. Got, let's see, I got SAC binary, little Indian, and then let's download it. And then press OK. See, it's that easy to download seismic data, guys. They are not hiding anything. Well, at least not seismic data. But I can... Guys, I love Iris's time series URL builder. I have been able to find so much data on so many events in Yellowstone and across the United States. It's pretty crazy. I love it. And I'm going to go into the program swarm real quick. Going to go to file, open file. I'm in downloads. Let's do YMC. EHC, and here is the Fiji earthquake right here. Now, let's see real quick. Yeah, it was pretty strong, guys. It was pretty strong and at a very, very deep depth, too. Man, yeah, it lasted for, let's see, 1601 to about 16. Yeah, it shook Yellowstone for about 20 minutes or so. Woo! Man, I'm loving earthquakes, guys. So that's it for right about now. Um, I will, I might do another blog post tonight. I don't think I'll do a video about it though. I am going to be keeping my eye on Yellowstone because I am feeling that a new earthquake swarm could be approaching. It is just my theory. It's just what I'm feeling right now. It's not for sure. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I am feeling that another earthquake swarm is approaching or possibly a larger earthquake. So we will keep an eye on Yellowstone. I'll let you guys know if anything changes. And again, please go check out my website. It has a lot of cool stuff, including, whoopsie, let's go to quake statistics. It has a lot of quake statistics, too. Just of, of course, just of reported earthquakes, not actual earthquakes. And a lot of the time, the number of reported earthquakes versus the number of recorded actual earthquakes seems to be a lot lower. Sometimes they can't locate them due to it being small magnitudes and other reasons I really don't understand right now. I'm still a beginner at all of this. I am hoping to join the University of Washington to try to become a volcanic seismologist, possibly around summer of next year, summer 2019, summer fall, actually. I might do it around August. I'm going to try. So I'll let you guys know about that in my Seismo blog, which is actually my personal blog. And if you ever need any seismic web recorder images, just go to my Seismic Image Archive, or if there's something missing that you want from a specific date, I can get you seismic images from Long Valley, Clear Lake, Crater Lake, Newberry, Mount Hood, Mount Adams, Yellowstone, New Madrid, New York City, anything you want. If you need any seismic data, or you want me to analyze some seismic data and send you some images, please let me know. Now guys, I will always stand for the truth no matter where it leads. Why? Because truth is hate or fear to those who hate or fear the truth. I may sound a little funny, but it's true. It really is true. God bless, guys.